We have an NHL trade to discuss. We have a one-for-one -one deal between the Edmonton Oilers and the St. Louis Blues. We'll discuss the trade coming up next. So welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. As I mentioned, we have some more breaking news and another NHL trade has taken place. And I wouldn't be shocked if before uh, NHL rosters have to be settled before the regular season, we might even see a few more, especially some smaller deals as teams jockey around players to try to become cap compliant, get their roster set and uh, all that stuff that they need to do before the cutoff. So this deal is, like I said, a one-for-one -one trade, former 2017 draft picks, the Edmonton Oilers trade defenseman Dmitry Samarukov to the St. Louis Blues in exchange for centerman Clem Costin. So Costin was a first rounder, like I said, 2017. He was a higher pick. 31st overall was the last pick in that draft's first round. Uh, Costin is six foot three, around 210, 212 pounds. Uh, he's played 40 NHL games, uh, put up 11 points. So obviously Costin is looking like he's projecting for his career. I mean, something could always change, but at age 23, you usually have a good idea what these players are going to be. Uh, and he looks like he could be a pretty good physical bottom six player. Uh, obviously, he didn't seem to fit into the Blues' plans, um, so they make this trade. They certainly were looking for help on the blue line. Uh, they have a couple significant injuries with Scandella and Perunovic uh, since they decided that Costa wasn't making the NHL roster. Uh, they put him on waivers, and he's cleared, so that creates some flexibility for Edmonton. If they need to put him in the minors, they can, but they can also use his contract since it's not a very expensive one on the roster, which he helps the team, I think, because he's a good physical forward in the bottom six he's got good size he's young there's lots uh, uh, to like i think about where he could fit there and at the same time if he needs to go to the minors in the next 30 days he doesn't have to clear waivers again so that part is good on the other side the st louis blues get themselves uh, a defenseman said sam rukov's also 23 uh, taken from the same draft as costin both russian born players uh, this player was taken 84th overall uh, he's only played one nhl game so far and it was actually against st louis and he was a dash two and only played four shifts so it wasn't a real good experience for him didn't have a good night uh obviously uh there's lots of other things to look at and consider for this deal though sam Rukov, after coming over from russia uh played two years in uh, junior hockey in canada in the ontario hockey league put up some pretty good offensive numbers and he since put in two years of pro hockey mostly except for that one game playing in bakersfield in the american hockey league Fair to say with some of the other young Oiler defensemen. Uh, obviously, Bro, you know, Philip Broberg's trying to get more established on the NHL roster. Evan Bouchard is pretty established now, but he's pretty young. Like, there's just not going to be a ton of room up there, and he's getting to the point where, uh, you know, I think he deserves some opportunity, but we'll see, uh, obviously, where things go. But this is a good swap, I think. The Blues had a hole in defense after a bunch of injuries. The Oilers could use an extra... You know, a good bottom six forward. Contracts work. Both Sam Rukov, like Costin the other day, also cleared waivers. So, again, these teams don't have to worry about that. Like I was talking about in a video, I was either yesterday or the day before talking about waivers and sometimes how players get traded after they clear. That seems to confuse people as to say, well, why would they, you know, make a trade for them when they could have grabbed them for nothing? And it's exactly this. They let the player clear. So then that way they have the flexibility to play between either league for the next month. So they don't have to worry about losing them or reassigning them and all that. And a lot of times too, they need to move a contract or a player to make the numbers work. So it's, this is a one for one swap works for both sides. I think the deal makes sense. Uh, I think Costin at this point is probably going to get more of the opportunity. So we'll kind of lean towards the Oilers winning the deal, but it's kind of early to say and uh, long term it could even itself out so let me know your thoughts on this trade down in the comments and we'll discuss further if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and stick around we'll keep you up to date with all the latest news rumors and analysis of all 32 nhl teams thank you for watching and i'll catch you next time <laughs>